So this is a little bit of an interesting one and uh, on this channel as we go along I want to uh, offer up some elements from uh, my own life which has been shaped by the practice of navigation and kind of the sorts of things that I do uh, when they are interesting demonstrations of the lifestyle that uh, navigational practice has given me. Um, right now this is uh, actually something that's quite interesting to me I've installed my uh, my first uh, EFOI fuel cell system. Uh, this is running the entire boat right now, right in the middle of a winter gale, so if things um, are a little motiony in there, that's why. I'm running all the cabin lights, um, the Webasto Thermopro 90 uh, furnace, hydronic furnace, uh, basically all the DC systems right now are being run off of this particular fuel cell. Uh, nice tidy um, installation. That is the uh, methanol cartridge there that runs that. This methanol cartridge contains, let's see, I believe it's uh, just about 12 kilowatt hours worth of electricity as you uh, run it through the fuel cell. The fuel cell is really astonishing. Like it is practically silent. There's a tiny little computer fan here that kind of cycles up and down. It makes a little bit of heat, but hardly more than a person breathing, I would say. This here is the control display. That's made for a remote mount, but I just have it stuck in there with a piece of Velcro. In fact, the entire system is one plug and a Velcro assembly. Very, very simple to install. Simply two wires to the battery. That's it. Plug it in, give it fuel, and it goes. And the reason I wanted this system is I do do a fair amount of winter cruising up here. Here, this is uh, we're getting close to the solstice. I do have a solar array of um, 400 watts, but as it is today, you know, heavy overcast, rain. Like you, you would be achieving very, very little in terms of um, anything out of the solar panels. And of course, it's a short day, and you're not going to get anything overnight with that. I really wanted a system that would just keep um, everything running kind of as power generation of last resort and this is obviously doing it so I'm quite pleased to say I I wasn't quite certain that it would run all the systems but it's absolutely um, keeping up with everything I have turned on right now so that's pretty neat uh, it ends up being very expensive power these are not uh, cheap units so I'm using it right now really as a test, but not in a manner that I would normally use it. I plan to run it for a couple of days here just to see um, how well it does. Um, but they're costly. I mean, this is a $5,000 unit, uh, a, fi a unit that probably has a service duty of maybe 5,000 hours, right? If you were using it... Um, daily as primary source of power you could burn up 5,000 hours pretty quickly. It's only making 6 amps right now. So a person can say well that's kinda crazy how does that make any sense? Well because normally I would have my solar panels out and they would be making the lion's share of the power and certainly would be most of the year. Really what I want this for is just a backup system um, for the kinds of conditions where you really really want power like, in fact, you really want to be warm when there's a foot of snow on the deck and all the rest and make it run. In that situation, uh, this really earns its keep because the only other alternative would be running the main engine. And if you think running this is expensive, running a, a uh, expensive consumable diesel engine is worse, without a doubt. And this is silent, reliable power. It's pretty awesome, actually. So thus far I'm pleased. We'll see how it goes. Again, I wouldn't install one of these as a primary system, but as a um, perhaps tertiary backup system, fantastic, because it's going to give you power when you really, really, really want it, when it's really, really precious, and uh, it's important to use it in that manner. So in the programming, you would want to program the fuel cell to come on only once the batteries have gotten down to a crucial level and there was no other alternative. It does take a certain amount of time for it to fire up, um, but if you're going to run it, 
you want to be able to run it for a period of time. Uh, that's what we're doing. But I'm just going to put it on for standby mode and grind a couple of days out of it. Like I say, we're untied from the dock and running furnace, so it'll be interesting to see how well it goes. But thus far, it works great. I've installed a few of these now. Everybody I know that I've put them in uh, for has said they're fantastic. And I don't know if anybody that's had any problems. They seem to be very reliable. It's very, very simple to install. It goes in there with a tray with Velcro and a couple of wires. Um, so anyway, quite neat system. Um, again, you know, if you're in the northern climes and it's cold and wet and rainy and stuff like that, and you just want to be comfortable on the hook, I would say it's awfully hard to beat. So there you go, Efoy Comfort 140. This is the middle-sized unit that make a 210 makes a little more power, about 8 amps rather than 6. Um, if you're running a fridge or something of that nature, you might want to just go this step bigger. Uh, but for me, this absolutely suffices. So I think it's great. Cheers.